Hello, my beautifuls for the sign of Sagittarius. This is gonna be your reading. And um, let's go ahead and get started with the message from the moon for my Sagittarius. Don't forget, this is a general reading, so take what it resonates, leave what it doesn't. And let's go ahead and get started with the message from the moon for my Sagittarius. Okay, it, it says balance, spirituality, and practicality. So my Sagittarius, let's keep that balance between the spirituality and practicality. Let's see what the oracles for the Romans angel want to take uh, tell us in this reading. Okay, my lovely Sagittarius, comment below. How is your day going today? How are you guys feeling today? Okay, let's see. Okay. A honeymoon. This is this got started really, really good. My Sagittarius, I like it. And reconciliation. You had two energies in here. You had the energy of the honeymoon and the reconciliation. Let's see what the tarot cards want to tell us about this reading. Um, let's see what we're gonna we're gonna see coming towards you, my lovely Sagittarius. We can see already that you're probably gonna have a honeymoon and reconciliation. There is someone that's coming back in your life. It's up to you, you guys. You know, remember, we all have free will. So it's, it, they can come back. But if we say no, no, it's no. Okay. And yes, my goodness. <laughs> it cannot. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Look at this. Okay, you got the energy of the honeymoon reconciliation, and the first card that I get is the Eight of Wands. I cannot even believe this. This is unbelievable. This is so unbelievable. Oh, and I forget to tell you guys that please like, comment, and subscribe for you can participate in the giveaway of this title card. It's called Kawaii Title, okay? Uh, I'm doing that in the beginning of the month of July. Look, and yes. Every single car that comes, it comes to testify the reconciliation car. My goodness, my Sagittarius, this is crazy. <laughs> I like my mouth is open, I cannot close. I like, a, uh, I cannot even believe it. This is crazy. Oh my god. Okay, my Sagittarius, let's go ahead and get started. What else can we do, okay? Let's go ahead and get started with this reading. Okay, the first thing, you got the, the card of the reconciliation and the honeymoon. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. Oh, my Sagittarius, I don't know who you are thinking that you want him back, to, oh, him or her back to your life. But for I can see in here, that person is definitely coming. It is coming. You can write that anywhere you want. That's what's going to happen. That person is coming back. And the first couple cards that you have in the reading, it is crazy. Crazy. That's what I just started laughing. I couldn't stop. Like, geez, how this is even possible? How is possible that I got the card of reconciliation? And the first two cards that I get is the cards of the Ace of Wands and the, and the Knights of Cups. Look, listen, the Ace of Cups, if you can see, is have A1s that are coming in this direction. The Ace of Wands means, you know, getting an email, getting a text message, getting communication. This is the card of getting communication. And it's coming. And it sometimes represents a speed at the same time. Sometimes represents that it's a communication that is coming fast towards you. And the Ace of Cups is everything about a a chiming, a chiming armor, um, a gentleman in his chiming armor coming and offer you a cup. You know, someone is coming, my Sagittarius, to offer you a cup. Someone is coming to have a conversation with you. Someone is coming to tell you how they feel about you because this person is addicted to you. They cannot live without you. They are completely and absolutely addicted to you. And this, the Knights of Cups is about a person that is hiding their feelings. The Knights of Cups can be the poker player of the tarot, okay? Because the Knights of Cups is, is this person, if you see his face, look at his face. Is it all serious, you know? It is this person that keep the calm, that he had to just keep the calm, 
keep the posture and keep it quiet so he kept his feelings to himself so this person he or she is keeping their feelings to themselves they are not talking about that they are not saying anything about it um but yes they are thinking you know what i'm thinking that i i need to come back and have a conversation with this person I need to talk to this person. I seriously need to say something about how we feel, how I feel about this relationship. I had to make sure that I offer her a cup, that I offer her what I think and what I have. And the way the relationship was, it talks about a, a person or a relationship when one of the sides, I don't know, it was you or him, they feel like they put a lot into the relationship and they didn't even got 10% of what they put. The, the eight of pentacle is all about a person that is working really hard. Do you see how hard he's working? He is so proud of what he's doing. And he's just hanging up his pentacles because he he's proud. He's proud of what he's doing. But he's working really hard, but he is forgiving, forgiving about himself. And and that and that can represent two things. It can represent a, a relationship where it's um, in a in a love relationship, a person that is um, that he put they put a lot into the relationship and he didn't see the payback, or a person and I believe it's also this, uh, they can that's gonna treat you like a queen or a king, that is gonna put himself in second place. For it can bring you the most amount of happiness that they can. Because they will not be the first place. You're going to be the one that is in the first place. They love you so much. They are so addicted to you with the energy of the, of the devil. That they are going to do everything that is possible for please you. For have you happy. For you can be happy. Because my Sagittarius, they suffer a lot. You went through a lot, my Sagittarius. You went through a lot. You went through so much um, that you that is 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 finally coming. Justice is finally here for you, my Sagittarius. You deserve love. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be treated properly. And it's finally it's gonna come that person that I can treat you properly. I can treat you like a king or queen. And uh, <clears throat> and for some of you, this is not gonna be for everybody. The um. The reading is talking about you guys saving money, okay? This card, the Four of Pentacles, it represents a person in a love reading. It represents a person that is really possessive or want to possess, possess, possess you or want to have you, uh, have you for themselves. But it also can represent in a regular reading savings. And I'm feeling really guided to tell you about, please make sure that you keep your money straight. And get some savings going because that's what they told me. Get, tell them to get some savings going. And if you are not saving, I know my Sagittarius, most of you are really organized with your finances. So this is not for everybody. But if if you can, just keep some saving. If, if you can, just save some more because it's going to help you in the end. Okay? So make sure that you keep some savings going. And if you don't have it, this is the perfect time to, you know, to put some savings on the side and just organize, create a budget. It's plenty of YouTube channels that they teach you how to save and how to have a budget. And and it's just, yes, he want, an, he want this person, he or she want a new opportunity. They want a new opportunity with you. They want a new opportunity with you. And... And it talks about a change that is coming to your life. Your life is gonna change, okay? You are coming, you are gonna become enlightened. So it is a change that is coming towards you, my Sagittarius. And the change is gonna be for the good. Look, it talks about a relationship that develops a new level. Trust your intuition, okay? Care your care for yourself and others. My Sagittarius always do. Yeah, they, most of them are like nurses and things that can take care of someone else. Okay, they said that don't underestimate yourself. Okay, don't underestimate yourself. And make sure that you stretch your wings and fly, okay? Um, do what you are guided to do. 
and follow your intuition on all the things in material things and love things make sure that you follow your intuition and do what you are guided to do what your intuition is telling you to do my sagittarius follow your intuitions at all time and you have and you got and you got it again this is coming fast my sagittarius this is coming fast the delays if you've been waiting for this person for a long time the delays are over because you're gonna feel like many things are happening all at one like it's like what is happening after this start to developing after this start happening you're gonna feel like it's a hundred things happening all at one like a geez i cannot even keep up with the, all the things that is happening but it's good things good things my sagittarius don't think there is anything negative don't think there is anything negative it's, it's everything positive but uh, you're just gonna you hardly will be able to keep up with so many things that are gonna be happening around you and yes this person really missed you they feel like they left like when they left you they didn't know how much they're gonna miss you they didn't know how much they're gonna lose but they finally figured it out how much they're gonna lose with you because the fire cups is about losing something and it came to clarify the devil yeah they didn't know they were so addicted to you they didn't know how much they're gonna miss you but they just been missing you like a car went on the floor give me a minute And they just been missing you so so much and this is like a magnetic relationship it's that it's that something bring you guys together constantly and yes 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 i think i think this is you sagittarius being the queen of swords being like like peaceful and calculating and thinking about the what that this person is going to offer to you you are not going to take this person right away you are going to think about the situation and in the end you're going to choose what is best for you. So if, if this person come back, it doesn't mean that you're going to take them. It means that you're going to evaluate the situation because you have the energy on you. Look, this is the card of my Sagittarius. They've been through so much. And look, and you have the Queen of Swords came to cry fire. You're going to think, you're going to think things through. Okay. You are going to decide what you really want. You are not going to go like, you know, oh, yeah, he came back and I watched he or she came back and I'm so happy. No, you are going to, you're going to use your brain and you're going to really listen to that person, what they are offering, what they are saying, and then you're going to make your decision. You are going to make a calculated decision about this relationship. And good for you, my Sagittarius, because that's the way it need to be. You need to do what is the best for Sagittarius. Because, yeah, make sure that you're safe, okay? Because you have the cards of the Ace of Cups. There is something that is going to be missing. I don't want to scare you, but it's something that is going to be missing and get prepared for this. So make sure that you get your savings straight, okay? It doesn't mean, you know, we have free will. It doesn't mean that it's gonna come towards you or anything. It's just make sure that you have you have some savings going because you're gonna need it, okay? Just get some savings going. Get some savings. That's what they tell me. Just get some savings going, my Sagittarius. Get some savings going. And and that's it. Just get some savings. Get some savings, my lovely. Get some savings. Let's see what. I'm going to use the oracles of uh, the Island Time Wellness. Get some savings going, my lovely. You just never know. Just get some savings in a year or two. You're going to have, and if you don't have to use it, nothing happened. You just got some savings. That's the most important thing. Yeah, and it talks about the separation, okay? This person is, they have a sadness. They are missing you. They are thinking about you. Uh, they are unsure about their future. They just had that energy of separation. They just want to come back to you. Yeah, and it talks again, break up a separation. Yes. Uh, stop the pattern. They finally decide to stop the pattern of silence. A silent treatment. 
This is like a, they are giving you the silent treatment, but this is finally over, my Sagittarius. It's finally over. They just decide they, they, they cannot do it anymore. They did it for a while. They tried. It didn't work. And now they are go back to you, my Sagittarius. They are go back. They know what they are missing. They know for sure what they are missing. So they want you back, my Sagittarius. They want you back. And don't be so easy on them. Just keep keep your queen. Keep your keep your um keep your crown. Keep your crown going. Be that queen of swords. Be keep going. Keep being that queen of swords. Okay, you want me? Oh, I think it's good. Yeah, I may want you too. I don't know. Oneness is my true nature. Oneness is my true nature. Wow, what a beautiful card. Love it. What a way to close the, the reading. Okay, and I don't know if I told you about it, but I do an interactive reading. I answer three of your questions towards the end of the reading. Okay, and just think about a question that you have that you want to ask me. Focus the energy on the cards, on the energy. You can ask me one, two, or three questions. I'm going to put three cards, and you decide what you want. Card number one, question number one for some of you. Card number two or question number two for some of you. Card number three or question number three for some of you. You are welcome to stop the video for you can focus your energy. Pick the card that you want. Okay, I'm coming with card number one. Yes, it's asking you for the need of balance. I don't know what the situation is, but you're going to have two choices. You're going to have to balance something, but it's a yes, okay? Use your intuition in that one too. It is a No. The five of wands is about a competition, okay? Someone having a competition for something. I don't know if that clarified that. It is a no. Uh, yes, celebration, wedding, any kind of celebration. Yes, really, really happiness, okay? Okay, my lovely. You guys take care. Bye-bye.